Hello Internet, this is a, an instructional video for people who are struggling to move their website away from GoDaddy managed WordPress hosting. Um, short version up top, it looks like there's a file in there that needs to be deleted and it's called, I will refer to it in the comments of this YouTube video by name. I'm just going to show you what we're trying to do here. So I've got my blog for my little website business right here, and it's currently on GoDaddy, and it was built on GoDaddy. So it's got, you see this GoDaddy settings. There's some plugins that they um, build in there. So even like you see when you go in here, you'll see this little GoDaddy piece in here, which is fine if you're keeping it on GoDaddy. Um, what I'm going to do is use Duplicator plugin, which um, is available. Just search for Duplicator plugin. And this is going to basically archive my whole website. It's going to take all the files and put it in a zip folder. And then it's going to make a PHP uh, script that's going to unpack it at the new host. So imagine this is just like packing up all our stuff, we're moving to a new place. And then this in, the installer is going to be what unpacks everything and puts it all away. Now, unlike a normal, just straight up HTML site, we can't just drop all these files over there because WordPress is driven by a database. So we have to deal with the database piece too. So we will start by going into Duplicator and you're gonna see I already have a package in here because I did this earlier. Um, we're just gonna create a new one. This will be blank for you, create new. So you can call this whatever. I'm gonna just call this demo. I'm gonna call everything in this whole thing demo because I don't wanna blank out the passwords. I'm gonna delete all this when we're done anyway. Um, okay, so let's go next. Now it is building um, the packages. Right here, it's this warning is just saying, hey, you've got some files that are a little bit bigger than we expected. If you don't have a super shady uh, internet connection, you've got a decent FTP client, you're gonna be okay. The reason that this is warning is because big files when you transfer them on FTP can cause timeouts and it can be kind of an issue. So unless you've got like major like videos and stuff that's moving here, you're probably gonna be fine. So a warning status was detected. We're gonna live dangerously. We're gonna click right through that thing. Um, now it's actually building the packages and then it's going to give us the opportunity to download them. Now, just while this is kind of clocking here, one of the things we got to get figured out is an FTP client. I'm going to recommend that you use FileZilla. It's pretty straightforward. And then you also need to get your hosting set up for wherever you're, let's call it the, the to hosting. We'll refer to GoDaddy as the from hosting because that's where we're leaving from and we're going to the Bluehost hosting. So now I've got my two folders here. I'm going to click on both of these and we can see I'm using Chrome. So it's just going to show me in my little status bar here that it's downloading. This one down here is going to take about a minute. It's like 47 megs. Just give it some time. Um, so now these are going into our download folder or wherever your default is for your downloads. Um, I already have my FTP set up to be talking to that folder. So let's take a look at what we see in there. Um, okay. Sort this by modified. Mm, sort order cannot be interesting. Okay, whatever. All right. So this just happened, right? 430? No, it looks like it's not there yet for whatever reason. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay. Here's my installer. Oh, I know why, because we got a refresh. Sorry, I, when it when you do this over and over, the installer needs to be renamed and I don't want to put the wrong one up there. So here's my, um, it still isn't looking quite right yet. What we want to be seeing here is just straight up, oh, it's because I'm in the folder, sorry. Right. Do you like how I totally brush over the like, we're just going to use the uh, FileZilla here like it's super easy and I blow it. Anyway, 430, 430. Let's check our times, make sure, see it's actually 430 and this says 430 so we know it's right. Now, this is my messy uh, host. Uh, this is like my, my two hosting here. I got a bunch of stuff in here. I'm going to go and create a folder called demo. So let's just pretend we're already logged into our hosting like I am. We are going to go to file manager, which I, for some reason, just can really never find. And we're going to go into our root folder and we're going to create a new folder. We are going to call it demo, create new folder. Great. It's 
probably just kind of a boring old empty folder here. Let's take a look at it. Great. What would be even better is if we could get it to show up in our FTP client here. And uh, probably look for that right around the D's. Come on. Oh, let's see what we're doing here. See that? There's our folder. That's our new demo folder right there. So that is where we want to drop our stuff. Now, before I do this, I just want to show you, and I hope this doesn't get too confusing with all my different domain names and stuff here, but um, my main uh, domain name for my blue host is um, WordPress temporary. So I'm going to WordPress temporary.com slash demo because that's what I named the folder. So whatever you named your folder, that's, that's where you should be looking here. Maybe you already assigned your new domain name to your host and then you would just be going to the domain name without a folder name um, regardless. So that's my empty folder. And then I go in FileZilla, that's my empty folder. I'm gonna take my installer and I'm gonna take my zip archive and I'm gonna drop those over there. See, this is now a 2%, 3%. So this is gonna take about two minutes. Um, the installer looks like it's already there. So I'm just gonna kind of walk you through what we do with that while the other piece is uploading. And actually resize this so we can kind of keep, keep an eye on that. Okay, cool. So now we're at demo, let's refresh. Now we'll see the installer will have shown up. We can either type installer, Dot PHP right here or we can click on this whatever okay now here is our duplicator installer and it's asking us for um, credentials for our database now this part is really easy to kind of get overwhelmed by but it's actually super simple because we don't have to actually do anything with the database we're just gonna create one so we're gonna go back into our cPanel for Bluehost here and um, we're gonna go to databases and we're, we're going to do two things. We're going to create a database and then we're going to create a user for that database and then assign the user to that database, which is super, super simple. So um, we're going to name this whatever we want. I'm going to call it demo. So let's get that going. Now we've got, great, you created a database. See, look at us. We're creating databases together. Now we're going to create a user. We can either scroll down or we can jump to my SQL users. We're going to call this demo. The password is going to be a secret. Um, okay, and then we're going to create that user. I should probably write down the password on my end so I don't forget it. It'd be a bummer to screw up this whole video because I forgot the password. Okay, we created a user, we created a database, and now we're gonna jump back into the users here and we're going to see this add a user to a database. Here's our user demo. Here's our database demo add, okay? So now we're gonna give it all the privileges and we're gonna make changes, which is kind of like saving. I'm gonna just copy this up real quick. Oops, let's make sure that we're not making stupid typos here. So we're gonna copy this because we're gonna use this in our next little screen here. Okay, so we leave this at localhost. The name of the database is word psb3 underscore demo. User is the same thing. And then we've got our, um, our secret password, which look at that, you can actually see it now. I'm gonna test this connection and I'm gonna have success, which is great. The thing that you might wanna just check out if you're still having problems after watching this is advanced options. You can do a manual package extraction. And what that means is instead of uploading the zip file like we did, well, you still upload the zip file, but you actually go in there, you go into your directory. Um, is this the right directory? Yeah, it is, let's take a look. So here's our directory. We've got our, uh, it looks like everything's, oh no, here, sorry. We're gonna go into demo. And now you can see, okay, here's our directory. We've got a zip file and our installer file. Our installer file is gonna unpack the zip for us, but if you get hung up on this, I had read an article that you can go here, extract this, which basically dumps all the contents of this folder into this, you know, it unpacks it. And then um, you can try it with this option, um, 
I'm sorry, I clicked on the wrong window there, with this advanced option of manual package extraction. We're gonna do the automatic package extraction and just let this thing run. So we've got everything, we test our connection, we're good. We've read all the warnings. All these warnings are just talking about overwriting other things. We're going into new folders and new databases so we don't care about overwriting the old stuff. Let's deploy. One more warning, hey, we're gonna override stuff. I don't care, let's go. Okay, so now this may take several minutes. What are we doing here? It's kind of rebuilding the whole WordPress website, which will, if we have done this all correctly, is going to show up at our um, our domain name. Let's see, how do we do here? Okay, great, we're done. And we're going to run this update. Well, now it's asking us, I'm going to change the domain name from this to this. You can add a user if you want to. It's already gonna bring over all the users that you have. So let's run that. Now it's taking several minutes. In the meantime, I'm gonna just bring up this, uh, the place where we expect it to show up here. And, oh, look at that. Okay, very important final steps. Everything's all done. So I'm gonna save my permalinks, right? No, I'm not, because I got a server error. And then I'm like gonna test the site where it's supposed to be at the demo. No, I'm not. I got a 500 server error, which sucks because it tells you absolutely nothing. And I really struggled with this. I did the, when I just touched on that, the, um, you know, unpacking the, the zip folder. I tried that, tried a bunch of different variables, tried to change the permissions on one of the folders. And the thing that's hanging this up, and this is crazy, but if we go in here, we're just going to do one more thing. Now, we're going to refresh this because this is still showing us what uh, what we had in this demo folder before we unpacked it and did all that. So now we see all this stuff. But check this out. They put a WordPress uh, plugin from GoDaddy into your website, which is causing this. Now, I don't know if they did this with Malice. I hope they didn't because it's pretty lame. But, oops, I just clicked on the wrong thing there. Okay, so we're in our demo folder. We're gonna go into WP Content. Okay, we're gonna open that up and see this MU Plugins here. I'm gonna do it up here so you can actually see what's in there. What's in MU Plugins is GD System Plugin. So that's your GoDaddy System Plugin and then there's another folder name with the thing, same thing. We're just gonna take this whole folder and this is, I did this kind of just out of frustration before, like, oh, you jerks, I can't believe you put this crap in here. So I delete that, right? And now it's going to go and dig down and unpack all this stuff. This looks scary, but what it's doing right here isn't a big deal. It's just killing out that folder. Um, let's wait until it's done. If you want this to be faster, <laughs> you can also um, you can delete it from here. If we reload our demo folder that we're in here, we could have just navigated it. Um, we could have navigated to it through here. And what that would have allowed us to do. Well, maybe it wouldn't allow us because it looks like that tree isn't open up. Anyhow. So we're going to delete all that stuff. See, this is all happening. Um, we're killing that. And it's probably maybe already gotten the bad part out here. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, look at that. So there you have it. There's my new, well, my old blog at my new domain name. Now, I still have some DNS stuff to work through here, but the real key is, is if you built your WordPress blog or website with managed hosting on GoDaddy, they put that little folder in there, that little MU folder, and you got to kill that thing because for whatever reason, it creates a database error. So I hope that this saves you some time and frustration. Um, and that it works out great for you. If you have any questions about it, um, you can probably find me in the link or the comments below. We'll see. All right, thanks.